Hello guys, today I am going to discuss about Spring Boot Lazy Installation so which has been introduced in 2.2 version. So by default, Spring application context is eagerly creates and initialize all the beans during the application startup itself. So it will help in detecting the beans configuration issues at the early stage. So but sometimes like you may need to deal with uh, some or all beans be lazy initialized due to like different project requirements. So basically we have two types of containers one is application context and another one is bin factory so the bin factory by default lazy loads the beans so i mean like it creates the beans only when the when you call like get bean method so then only it will create the beans okay so whereas like application context when you start the application so it will preloads all the singleton beans so upon the startup so that is the difference between application context and bin factory so Coming to the lazy installation in the Spring Boot 2.2, so we have a property. So by using that property, we can enable. Okay. So let's see that example. So let me create one example, guys. So I'm going to create one class. So that is product class. So that product class, I'm going to take one variable. String. Product ID okay so let me create one constructor so I'm going to create one constructor guys and after that I'm going to create one method public void so name string product name so I'm going to give the product name here so so this product name I'm going to use in our main class okay so I'm going to print this okay so product ID and product name so let me differentiate so this is product id and so let me print here also so i am going to print product id So that so I'm going to print initialize okay. okay so now I'm going to use this product class inside this main class I'm going to create the two bins here so that two bins I'm going to use in application context okay so first let me create one bin so public product so get product so I'm going to return new product here product okay so which will return the string size so I'm going to give product one okay and so I'm going to annotate with bean so i'm going to give the name as so bean one so that is product one here product one okay and i'm going to create another bean so i'm going to name it as product to this one so this is product two and this is product one okay this will okay this is name okay. product 2 and now so I'm going to get the application context so application context so now what I'm going to do is uh, yeah so by using the context I'm going to get the beans so so our bean is 
product one right so product one and uh, product class so that's it so yeah so it will return the product product one so I am going to take another one product two okay so yeah so this is product one and this is product two so yeah now so by using this product object okay so by using this product object what i'm going to do is i am going to um, get the name of products right so this is product one oh, sorry so i'm going to give the name as some name like samsung Another one is like iPhone okay so this is product one this is product one okay. so so before I'm going to execute this so, so I just want to show you so I'm not getting any beans by using this context so let me execute this first so it has to be initialized the beans so before we are calling our actual beans by using the get bean okay because we are using the application context here so that is the reason it has to be initialized all the beans so because it is early loading so that is the reason it has to be initialized all the beans so let me yeah see here so product one initialized and product two also initialized so so without calling the get bean method it has been initialized all the beans okay now let me uncomment this code and let's execute this and see the output so first of all i need to stop this server okay and start it again see here we got the first of all like this product 1 and product 2 is initialized and after that product 1 and product 2 we got the information samsung and iphone okay so then so i don't want to or lazy initialize specific bean like let's say bean 1 then i will use lazy here okay so lazy so when you execute this so only the product 2 will be initialized when the starting server okay so let me start this and show you see here so when the prod so when the at the time of server is starting so only product has been initialized so the product one is initialized when the time of your calling get bin method okay so this is how this lazy will be work okay but like when you have uh, in the real time when you have like uh, more than like 100 bins or like uh, 1000 bins like uh, so if you want to like market as a like 100 bins then you want to market as at the rate of lazy so it's very complicated right so such scenarios so we can do it by using spring 2.2 lazy installations which has been introduced in okay so that is spring dot main dot lazy installation so true so now all the beans so whatever that beans like when you have like uh, thousand beans or 100 beans in our application so all the beans will be lazy initialized so and the time at the time of you will call like get bean method so then only all the beans will be initialized until and unless you will call that get bean method so it won't initialize that beans okay so that is the advantage of this spring main lazy installation equal to true okay so let me show you guys so let me start this 
server and show you so now see here the output is the first of all like product one initialized and product two initialized and after that this product information product information has been printed right so this is how this spring boot lay initialization will be work okay i think you guys are clear but like when you say like you have like hundred of uh, hundred and thousands of beans so when you mark as all the beans are initialized but if you want like specific beans are like a eagle eagerly loading then how can you achieve that so that is also we have a solution guys so now so let's say i have product one product two right so now product two i want to mark it as a early loading then by using lazy so i will mark it as a false this okay so let's save this and see it now so let me run it and see this so now only lazy so product one is lazy insulation and product two is eagle insulation so product two is initialized when the application is started because that is eagle loading because we have market market at is so eagle loading right by using lazy equal to false and and the product one is initialized because we have enabled lazy initialization as a true in application that properties file and now we have printed the product information okay so this is how this lazy initialization will work in the spring boot 2.2 guys so this is like very useful like when you work with the real time applications lazy initialization may be reduce the number of beans created when the application is starting okay so therefore we can improve the startup time of the applications and uh, so the issues can be included out of memory errors and misconfigurations or class definition found errors so this kind of errors we can deal with this <coughs> okay so i think like you guys are enjoyed this video so if you like this video so please do like and subscribe my channel okay thanks bye